Hey guys, welcome back to the CCC. Today we are, I know we've been saying we're doing summer cocktails a lot. I think this is a quintessential summer cocktail. I think you like the word quintessential. I do like that word. I mean, I've actually had that on my list of words to use in the CCC and it's like the last one I had to check off. Well, oh, I mean, you, you already got mouthfeel and viscosity and a few others. So this is like the last good one left. Uh, anyways, well, again, it brings back, it brings fruit into our bar, roasted fruit, which I think is even cooler and adds some flavor. It brings mint back in, it involves agave, it involves Aperol. These are all just, to me, classic ingredients for a good summer cocktail. I think it's also really awesome flavors. I mean, I'm, I'm that weird person who loves the flavor of peach, but I don't like to eat a peach because that pit is just so unseemly. I can't figure out how to deal with it. I've literally never eaten a peach in my whole life. I know there's a joke there, but I like the flavor of peach. And when you roast it and bring out that smoky, like when I was roasting these peaches, it like almost caramelized. So it was like smoky and sweet and there were some awesome things going on. It's gonna be unique. I like this. Not even in college? Not um, in college, because in college I was too busy watching the peach pit, which ironically is the name of our cocktail. The name of our cocktail is the Peach Pit. I will not, I refuse to say that name. I was never a fan. You're no Dylan. Dylan. Anyways, uh, I'm still looking forward to this drink despite the name that, that you've come up with. This is a cocktail. This is so fun, you guys. I can't for the life of me figure out where in the hell I pulled this from. I, I jotted it down one day and I have no idea where the hell I found it. So. I don't know the amounts or we've sort of, I found an idea for it and then we sort of created it around that idea and I don't even remember where the idea came from is the point. The other point is, is it's very creative, very weird. Um, this is like the opposite of a classic cocktail. Oh yeah, this is, yeah. Which is appropriate because we just did the Pegu Club this week and that was not the most exciting, but it was a classic. So this one's, uh, despite the name, a, a a fun and refreshing summer cocktail that I will come up with a name before the end of the show okay. for those of you that are, are anti 90210 fans. I'm still calling it the Peach Pit. So we are going to be muddling. So we are using our favorite shaker tins. Uh, oh, peaches. So let's talk. We talked to the end of uh, our last episode. If you haven't already, you, you want to roast your peaches. The way I, I did mine, let's see, Rice did hers. Just slice it. I did mine, kind of did four slices across. So they're thin enough where they roast easily. You put them on a grill, which I think probably be better. Um, and then just take a couple large pieces, not even the whole peach, just maybe two of the four. I threw mine in the toaster oven on broil. Yeah, even better. It's probably the fastest way to do it, for sure. Throw those bad boys in there. We're gonna muddle. My peach was small, so I'm throwing the whole thing in there. I'm very excited. It smells awesome. So I have a couple of different muddlers. I have one that's like really smooth, like a wooden one that's very smooth. And then I also have this one that's like, can you see? Textured? Yeah, I think for this one, right, we need like the more. more. Yeah, it's, it's like using a serrated knife. Right, exactly, yeah. We need to, we need to really muddle the shit out of this one. It's not like the herbs where we want to be all delicate for fear of breaking them down. So I, I really do want to break this one down pretty thin because I do want some of it in the cocktail. All right, so <laughs> I'm using tequila. Ricey, of course, has mezcal. Y'all can split it one and one, one half, one and a half and a half, whatever you want. I think mezcal is, even though I'm using tequila just so we can do two different versions, I think mezcal with the roasted peaches, I think it's an appropriate profile if you're doing agave. I mean, really, right. what does mezcal not go super well with? It went really well with the pineapple. It goes yeah. really well with roasted peaches. Yeah, it's a good call. It goes well with my heart. In your case, it goes well with just a glass, nothing else in it. I mean, Cheerios and milk. Marinade for a steak. <laughs> no, what actually probably would be really good. Anyways, one ounce Aperol. In honor of our peach cocktail, I tried to use my peach. It's not really peach, it's more of a rose gold, but a peach colored jigger. Three quarters fresh lime juice. So you'll see we have mint here, and we actually went back and forth on whether we should include the mint early on, muddle it, but I think we both felt like we really want to taste the, like the roasted peach, the mezcal, everything else in here. So we're going to use the mint really more for scent. So you'll see what we do at the end, but it's really more for a garnish than it is a flavor. I think mint is a super powerful garnish because the nose on mint is so 
yummy. And it also, I think, contrasts nicely with like a roasted kind of kind of flavor profile. But at the same time, mint in a cocktail can go so, so, so wrong if you if you muddle it too much. So mm -hmm. yeah. also, this, this would also be a good cocktail if you want to introduce other herbs. Like basil would be really good with this one. Sage, rosemary. I, I think this one's safe enough and, and it offers enough complexity that I think you could bring in different, either sweeter or yeah. more herby or warmer, different tones. Yeah, but somehow I think peach and mint do go well together. You remember a while back I made that really yummy impeachment cocktail? You ready? Grab some ice. Shake the shit out of it. All right. Okay, this looks like a smoothie. You know what would be fun? Just to get a straw and just drink out of this. Yeah, right. Okay. You know what? It's like a milkshake at your peach pit. Wasn't that like a diner? Yes. Ah, we're on to something. Put a big fat straw in here, and there you go. So if you want to do this at, in an old-fashioned glass over one rock, then it becomes an after-dinner drink. So you could call it the Peach Pit After Dark. <laughs> okay, y'all, this is a little chunky. I'm, I'm also getting some, like, peach skin in there, but I, I sort of am fine with that because I sort of want that flavor, I think. Okay, it may look a little gross, I'm not going to lie. Maybe yours does. Mine doesn't. Although I, it may be a, that we use a different strainer. Mine's not that chunky. It's pretty clear. It's got a little flex. I not have like Jimmy the the strainer around, so I let the chunks in. It's all right. And then for mint, we didn't want to disrupt the flavor of the drink, but we still think the scent is really important. So just to uh, sort of slap it, hit the glass a little bit, just to open up some of the oils. Hey, I got a mint hack. This mint has been sitting in this glass for like a week. Mint stays forever if you just stick it in a little glass with water. So if you borrow some from a friend or neighbor, or if I give you the code to get into my backyard and you come in and steal some of my mint, it'll, it'll last forever. And ironically, yours is older, but fresh. Mine came from a grocery store in a little package and does not look nearly as fresh and perked up as yours does. Yeah, I'm doing a straw on mine, although I, a short one. I think I guess short straw is appropriate here to be on the size of your glass. Okay, so I'm really excited about this one. This one's gonna be delish and really fun. And although it's not gonna be one that you're gonna pull out and use every five minutes because it's a little bit labor intensive, you do need the peach and you do need to roast it, blah, blah, blah. I do think that it's, it's a nice change. Um, and I yes. encourage you guys to try it at some point. This would also be a good batch cocktail too. If you're making like a punch, this would be something you could do with fresh fruit. I think anytime you bring in fresh fruit or roasted fresh fruit, you bring in mint and you were to have a party once we get past all this mess. I don't know, I think it's always very impressive when you do like fresh fruit based. You no, know, I, think, I think that's a great point. I just would do a, a few hacks instead of muddling them. I would stick it like in the immersion blender and just do it that way. Puree it up, it's again. All right, <laughs> see you guys next week. See you next week, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Jason.